guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carly, and today I'm gonna show you part two of all my hamster stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you the rest of my hamster stuff. I, I did move a couple of things around, so you might see a few things that you've already seen. So sorry about that, and you also might not get to see a couple of other things. So sorry about that as well. Um, it's been a few weeks since I filmed part one. Um, go check out part one in the, I'll link it in the eye. Um, and yeah, let's get started. I want to get a, a cube shelf. Um, and be able to store some of this stuff in two cube bins since we mean my sister each would have half of them um so yeah and then also um you just have better storage for when i get the ikea dd top because it's a lot bigger than my cage right now so yeah okay so the first thing i have is just this like lid type of thing <laughs> and um it came from the sand bath that i have um and it was just the sand bath i have is just a uh a glass dish so yeah i came up with a lid and i have these two um clean little trash bags um for when i clean out our cage i have this little bucket this is from target i think it's really cute put that back in there um and then i have this water bottle that came from uh, a tiny tails cage and i don't use this because it's a very weird water bottle um but yeah we got that we got our tiny tails cage a while ago long like a couple years ago i think but yeah um we have this little scoop and it's just handy for when i'm cleaning out my hamster's cage or the sand bath and also these i used for the sand in and then um it just helped um, so I so I sift I pour it in and I sift it from that so yeah and I also have my sifter and a couple of toilet paper tubes I have this ball I don't use these I have two a pink one and a big cl uh, clear one. I don't use these at all. I haven't used them in like over a year or just, yeah, over a year um, now. So, no, and then I have like half cut up toilet paper tubes because I want to make a DIY bendy bridge and I just haven't got to do that yet. Okay, so I have these All Living Things apple slices. And, um, I have given some to the guinea pigs that we have. Um, I have this as my herbs. If you know these aren't good, like, leave the thumbs down or something. Um, because I don't have comments. So, yeah. I have this wheel. Um, I got that when I got my the previous hamster that I had. I have some oat sprays and some millet sprays. I do want to get some wheat sprays and flax sprays. Um, but I just don't have them at the moment. And yeah, these are actually the first sprays I ever bought. Um, I bought them with my Christmas money because I really wanted my hamster to have sprays because they're really natural for them. Um, I have some peach puffs. They're just some Gerber puffs and they're completely safe for hamsters, and they're really healthy and a nice little treat. I have a bunch of toilet paper tubes. I have this little cup, um, and I just use that for I use that for my sand bath, and or no, my sand when I scooping out the sand. I don't have like any sand at the moment besides what is in her cage, and I do need some order. Need to order some more. I have this, and I also have this water bottle that I'm currently not using because 
my phone has a different one. I have this random tube thing. I don't even, like, I have a bunch of tubes that I just used to use and I never use them. So, this should be with the, those. But, um, I have this, like, gold wire for also making the DIY Bendy Bridge, which I want to make soon. Maybe I can make a video out of that. Leave a like if you want to see that. Um, I have these peanut butter treats. And so just this, like, container that I washed out. And they're actually on a stick. Um, they came on a stick, and I just broke them up because they're full of sugar. So, yeah, I don't give them to Muffin often. But I also have this ball, and a bunch of stuff was in here. So, that's what I was pulling out of, if you're wondering. I also have three more toilet paper tubes. I have tons of these. I like to make, um choose for my guinea pigs out of them and hamster obviously um i also have this hide and i think you can also buy this on amazon but i got it at fred meyer in like the small pet section it's a really small section but i saw this and i thought this was really cute so i really like this i have no space on my desk um okay so i have this box full of stuff i also use this to um a muffin in this box um and i just empty it when i'm cleaning out her cage um because i don't have anything else to put her in i don't want to put her in the ball um so yeah i have this water not water i just this i have this random bowl um that i got when i got one of my first hamsters um i have some little cards with information about my past hamsters these little, okay, so there's three of them. This, this little, like, triangle thing that the hamster can run through. Another one with a little opening on the side. And then another longer one. I also have a sander, um, because I used it to sand a piece of wood that I have that you guys saw in part one, I think, I believe. Um, but yeah, I don't, I didn't really need to sand it, but... I just did because I felt like it. And there's also another little box. That's what I'm pulling out of. I have two of these that go to that green wonky water bottle that I showed you earlier. This little piece of toilet paper tube. Kind of random. Um, I have this rainbow chew. Pretty much in this box we mostly chews. Um, these blue chews. Some willow chews. This whimsy chew. And then I have just some rocks, some, and some used chews. I don't know why I kept them, but yeah. Not gonna pull them all out because it's just a lot, so yeah. Um. Okay, I have some peanut butter treats. I have no more space. It's going on the floor. I have some more um, Gerber puffs, like these. Um, but these are peach and these are blueberry. So they're just Gerber puffs that I put in a jar. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay, Ella. Um, <laughs> vanilla, vanilla puffs. They are the same, just Gerber puffs. And I have some just cleaning wipes to clean out her wheel and Muffin's sand bath. Um, cause she does use it as a litter box. I have this, like, spray thing that I used to put in front of the cage, my cage, um, and it's empty and we just haven't refilled it yet, so yeah, here's my herb jar, it's going everywhere now, 
Um, and then I have a star with a little bit of orchard grass hay, I believe it is. And I need to buy some more. And finally, the last couple of things is just this book my mom got me when I first got a hamster. And this was made in like 19, let me see. 1986. So it's definitely outdated and I wanna do a video on that. Here's like another like piece of like flimsy cardboard, kinda like this. This one's a little thicker, but I could just like bend it or something. So my brother found that and gave that to me. Um I have like a bunch of these are all from PetSmart, but they're just a bunch of little guides that I have that I might do a video on as well. I have this when I got a tiny tail's cage. I know it was a bad mistake. <laughs> um, I don't know why I keep it. I just just do. I mean, it's kind of cute, even though it's made for children. Don't get the cages. <laughs> Um, and it also comes with stickers, again, targeted towards children. Then I just have some random packaging for some reason. I just have this K-pop, K-pop, pop, I don't know how to say it, but that's what it is. And it came from Walmart and it had some fluff in it. So I took that out. Don't worry. If you look it up, I took it out. Um, and I have this piece of the, the Mopani Zoomed wood. And that was the wood I was talking about earlier. Um, and then I have this Tiny Tales packaging from Witches, and it had, it was 50% off because there was a two missing that, if you're wondering for some reason, that's why. Um, so yeah, that's everything in that box. My cat has put a hole in it, but yeah, I need, I do need better storage, so someday hopefully soon i'll get better storage but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching part two go watch part one like i said um i think oh it's one of these sides i'm pretty sure it's this side um but yeah go watch the video and comment or you can't comment um like and subscribe and come back for more next week bye guys